I'd like to say that uh, it's an honor for me to be able to speak about Ronnie today. And I'd like to begin by reading a little bit about him and the family. Ronald Ronnie W. Powell, 65, passed away April 21st, 2020. He was a loving husband, father, grandfather, brother, and uncle. He worked for Kraft Wrigley Mars for 40 years. Ronnie graduated from Day County High School and was married and married his high school sweetheart, Debbie Castleberry, on June 30th, 1974. He adored their grandchildren. They were his life. In addition to his loving wife of 45 years, he is survived by his daughter Christy and Clint McDaniel of Chickamauga son Wes Powell of Trenton, grandchildren Luke Powell of Flat Rock, Casey McDaniel of Chickamauga, Wesleyan Powell of Las Vegas, sister Marianne and Paul Pierce, Lookout Mountain, brother Terry and Phyllis Powell of Trenton, special great nieces Taylor Williams and Sarah Williams of Flintstone, and a host of friends. When I was in about third or fourth grade, I met Wesley and he became my best friend. I had never had one before and um, we ended up, first time I'd ever spent the night in anybody's house. And so I spent a lot of time in their home and uh, got to know obviously Christy and Ronnie and Debbie and by extension of Wesley I loved him and so I loved them and they were always so good to me. And I was talking to Debbie just the other day and um, she said, David, those were good days, weren't they? And I said, yeah, those were, those were real good days. But in talking to Debbie I learned some things about Ronnie that I didn't know. I learned that he was the kind of man that would do things for people when they were in need and he didn't say anything about them. She said that a neighbor came to her just the other day and said Ronnie had noticed that her yard had not been mowed and I guess she was having trouble with her mower but he went over there with his mower and he mowed it, she saw him do it and then he left, didn't say a word about it, he was that kind of man. And I learned, I already knew this, but I learned he worked 40, out, or 40 years for planters. 40 years, day in and day out, to provide for his family. And I know that must have not been easy, going back and forth every day to a factory. But he did it because he took care of his family. And I also learned about his proposal to Debbie when they got married. She told me, and I know I'm going to mess this up a little bit, but she said that for whatever reason in the middle of the night or when her daddy was nearly asleep, Ronnie thought that he had to go ask for Bert's hand, for, for Debbie's hand in marriage. He had to ask for permission first. So he went in there in the dark bedroom and he had to ask him if he could marry Debbie. And I don't know if Bert said it then or if he said it later, but he, but apparently Bert said, uh, you know I keep a gun under my pillow, don't you? <laughs> but she said she was just 17, right? And how old was Ronnie? 
19. 19. So they've been together all these years. But I think about when we lose a loved one, what do we have left? So I was thinking of three things we still have. It's like the important things become important again, don't they? First of all, we have time. We have time. When we lose a loved one, we realize how precious time is with our loved ones. I remember when my grandfather, my step-grandfather, passed away about 10 years ago. He was holding hands with my mom and my dad on either side of the bed. And he had worked for 45 years at U.S. Pipe and he had a lung condition that they got from working at that foundry. And he could barely talk, could barely breathe, and we could barely understand him, but he whispered, life sure is short, isn't it? And he was 82 years old. And that room got silent to think an 82-year-old man was talking about how fast his life went. And when we lose somebody, we realize how precious time is. And we need to take time to love our family and love God and love each other. But not only that, we have memories. We have memories. I mentioned before about me and Wesley, our friendship, and I actually think about he and I often. I think I'm a sentimental person, but I, my mind goes back in time and I just, I think about a lot of things like that. It's not that I want to go back there, but those were good days. Those were sweet memories. Debbie told me about a memory that she has, and I know the family knows this, but apparently Ronnie and her, they took the grandkids, Luke and Casey, to Helen, Georgia. <laughs> and uh, there was some sort of an animal exhibit, I guess, but there was a, uh, Somebody was handling snakes. And I think Debbie was standing away from there, but um, she heard this big commotion and apparently that snake had gotten away from that man. And she heard a lot of hollering and commotion, turned around and here comes everybody running. And I guess Luke's in front and then he gets pushed out of the way by Ronnie, who just blasts right by him and leaves him behind. <laughs> I can't blame him though. <laughs> what memories do you have of this man? Your husband, your father, your friend. Cherish those memories, hold on to them, bring them to remembrance often because I believe memories are God's gift to us to go back to a place in time and remember the sweet things of life. You'll always have your memories of Him. Not only that, but we have hope. We have hope. The Bible tells us of a place called heaven. And it says that someday there'll be no more tears. Someday there'll be no more goodbyes. And the Bible says that every tear will be wiped from our eyes. There'll be no, so, no more sorrow, no more death, no more crying. And by faith, we place our faith in God's Son, Jesus Christ. And we place our faith in the sweetest story that's ever been told. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'd like to finish by reading this scripture. It's the famous 23rd Psalm. Everybody knows it. But in the Bible, God is... He's called very different things. He is called our rock and our high tower, our deliverer. But I'm so thankful that the Bible says that He is our gentle and our loving shepherd. 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me. Thy rod and Thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Would you bow with us in a moment of prayer? Father, thank You, God, for the promises that we have in Your Word. We thank You, Lord, that You sent Your Son into this world. And we thank You that You comfort us, Lord, that You are the gentle shepherd. And, you, and Your Holy Spirit is our comforter. And I pray, Lord, today and in the days ahead as this family comes together, Lord, that You would touch them, that You would help them, God, that You would comfort them. And Lord, may they always realize that they have their memories of Ronnie. Lord, and all that he means to them and this family, all that he means to us. And Father, I just pray that your presence, God, would be in this family. And Lord, they would feel you now more than they ever have. And Father, I thank you, God, for this man, for his life and what he means. And God, we just give you all the glory. In your name we pray. Amen. I have some more funeral home. I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank, thank the Dr. Henry for the family. Thank you for everyone to come out to support Debbie and her kids and everyone. Uh, it's gonna from here we'll we'll take the casket over to the to the grave. That'll take probably about 45 minutes, but if everybody wants to hang out here, that's fine. We did bring the register book and the folder, so uh, please everyone uh, go ahead and sign in. But uh, that concludes the service. Luke, love you, buddy. Thank you. I know we're not supposed to hug because of the virus, but I don't have it. <laughs>